Okay, we're going to tie a pattern that I developed this summer when I was fishing with my father-in-law. Um, I wanted a fly that was a little bit easier to cast than an articulated cheech leech or something like that, but was still a, an effective streamer. So, uh, he's the one who named it. It's called the Bug-Eyed Boodle. Uh, he caught the first fish on it, so I let him name it. Anyway, you'll, you'll see why he named it as such. I've got an Allen uh, E601 size 2. This is their egg hook, but I'm actually going to tie uh, a streamer on it. It's, it's a really good clouser hook as well. Uh, I'm tying with some UTC 140 thread, and I'm just going to attach a 4.8 millimeter barbell eye uh, from Allen Fly Fishing. Okay, now I'm going to turn it upside down, and I want this on top of the hook shank like it is. And I'm just going to add some super glue. And I've been using some really thin, it's called Extreme Power Super Glue. I bought it at Hobby Lobby, but it's a really thin glue, and if you put it on your barbell eyes and things like that, it, it bleeds through. And as you can see, it's really easy to do this with a rotary vise. I'm using the Dynaking Barracuda on this one, and I've been playing with it for about the last week and really liking this vise. The next step is to uh, tie in some holographic cactus chenille in olive. It's a hairline product. And I'm just going to wrap that forward a little bit. Okay, the next step is to tie in some UV2 schlappen in olive. Now I'm not going to tie this in tip first. I'm just going to strip a little bit off and go ahead and tie that in. Okay, I've got that tied in really well. Now I'm just going to pull it and pull these fibers back so when I wrap it, it, it they, they sweep back in a really nice looking formation. So it looks pretty messy so far. I'm just going to tie that off. Trim. Now I'm going to pull all those fibers back and just kind of trap them in a backward or a back sweeping look to the fly. Just kind of like that. All right, now to finish the fly, all I'm going to do is take a clump of Arctic Fox and tie that in in front of the eyes. Okay, I've got a clump of olive Arctic Fox tail hair uh, from Hairline. And so I've, I've cut that uh, clump, and as you can see, it's not quite even. So before I tie this in, to avoid having to go in and, and cut it off after it's already tied in, I'll just cut that flat right now. So you see my, my tie-in point is, is much more flat. And when you tie this in, you're going to want to get your thread as close to the barbell eyes as possible. And just kind of pinch it in place. Just like that. And then just kind of split it in half and pull the arctic fox along the sides of the fly. But that's that's essentially it. Uh, it's got a lot of movement in the water. It's a super simple tie. And you can tie it in a, a whole bunch of different colors. And one of the cool things about this hook, why I chose the E601, is as you can see here, it's an offset hook. So the point is not lined up directly with the eye. And so when a fish eats it, you have a much better probability of hooking that fish.